Power Popaholic, and I am talking with Australian soon to be super group, the Buckleys. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, why don't you just all introduce yourselves? Yes, well, I'm Sarah. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm Sarah, and I <laughs> sing lead vocals. I'm the eldest <laughs> and uh, bass player, Molly. Uh, I'm Molly. <laughs> I, uh, I'm on keyboard, mandolin, and vocals. And I'm Lachlan, and I'm just a guitarist. That's it. <laughs> just a guitarist. How modest. Um, so tell me a little bit about your new EP. You have, a, a, I believe, a five song EP or is it a six song yep. EP? Five songs. Five song yep. EP. Okay, I got it right. Yep. Um, so tell me a little bit about it and um, where you basically, how you came to be as a group. Because those amazing harmonies that come out of you didn't just pop up one day. It, it, I'm sure it took time. Yeah, yeah well thank you for that um well we are siblings so we kind of have been playing together forever yeah. so that i'm sure has something to do with it <laughs> but uh we recorded this ep over in nashville we spent two months over in nashville uh living there writing and uh just kind of creating this next chapter of who the buckleys are and what we wanted to say and where we wanted to go musically so we're really yeah. excited. It's been over two years since we released any new music. Um, so, you know, we've grown so much as people, individuals, as a band, um, you know, musically, everything. It's, so much has happened, you know, the last three years. So sure, we're, with, uh, with COVID and all, sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, super pumped. Super pumped so in so where, um, you know, in the past two years... So in Australia, when you were, you know, putting together all these songs, tell me a little bit about how they how they came together. How did what inspired you? Um, was it certain artists um, locally? Was it international artists that inspired you to, you know, take up music as a career sort of thing? I think I'll to take up music as a career. Ooh. Well, I think, I mean, we were raised around a lot of music. Yeah. Our dad, um... Our dad was an 80s rock and roll drummer. Yeah, so he, um... So... <laughs> he's always, you know, been in bands and there's always instruments in the house, so, um... He grew up going to his shows, <clears throat> raised raised at shows and concerts that he would do. But, so, um, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, it was just such a natural progression for us to all start playing together and as a family and, uh... Yeah. You know... We were, it was always such a goal of ours, me and Sarah, to get to Nashville. Um, and so we saved up for like six, five years. Um, and then when I was 12 and Sarah was 16, we ended up getting on a flight and heading over. And we just, you know, built um, some amazing relationships. And, you know, we just keep going back. And that's mm. where we record all our music with like Chad Carlson, um, who produced our first album and now EP. Um, and yeah. Just yeah, I've just always been it. always been playing music and rolling with it. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So um, your style, I, I don't want to say you you fit into a, a neat category, which I love. I mean, there's a little bit of indie rock, a little bit of country, a little bit of, you know, pop. It's all sort of, you know, all over the place. And, and that's a good thing. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I think that that uh, works really well. Thank and you. um the tell me a little bit about uh, the differences you think between you know being in america and being in nashville and uh, compared to where you grew up thank you well um i mean firstly yeah with like the style of our music it's so influenced by so many different things which is yeah. kind of exactly what we wanted we started going to nashville when i was 16 and these guys were a little younger kind of figuring out you know where we wanted to go musically we were so young and as a band because right, where we live compared to nashville is completely different mm. places yeah i can it, imagine when it comes to music you know so we've got a lot of different influences yeah coming but, um, from different places i think we're all really glad that you know we <laughs> kind of just decided a few years ago when we started to create and record the music that we wanted to create just like really listening to what to who we are and what we're inspired by in the in that moment as opposed to just kind of going with one thing that you know other people are telling us what we should be doing or you know what's popular at the moment or you know there's so many other opinions that start to come into yeah. you know the creative process so I'm really glad that we kind of 
just stuck to our gut and what we wanted to do since kind of day one of when we started to record music um over in the states and back here and so yeah we kind of just really want to capture whatever we're inspired by at that time whether it's you know rock or pop or country and it all like we have kind of our foundation of who we are we know who that is and our roots but room to explore and experiment Mm, is really important for us awesome did you you have you met anybody in nashville um you know particularly famous that you were like really psyched to meet or or something like that anybody in the recording process big big and rich dude big and rich yeah (laughs) big kenny Kenny, yeah (laughs) One of my friends, uh, Presley Tucker, her mom is Tanya Tucker. So I met Tanya a while ago. That was yeah. pretty awesome. Um, there's yeah. Something such, this Nashville is such an epicenter of just incredible creatives, you know. Yeah. Um, and and a whether lot- they're famous or not, like there's such, uh, like, yeah. you know, just the musos so in that city. Like, so I, I, I was there just, uh, you know, a couple months ago going down oh. Broadway. I was yeah. there, uh, you know, going up and down that strip. Um, from beginning to end and I could go up and yeah. down and get some you know candy on the way back so it was it was <laughs> wonderful <laughs> yeah and the other thing is about Nashville is like the whole world of like the songwriters that created the songs that you hear so like there's the famous people and the artists that perform them but like the whole like being able to be a part of that songwriting community is like I was so grateful for and just love so much you know yeah. people that we've been able to write with that literally wrote songs that inspired me to become a songwriter. Like that's yeah. crazy. So that's like the part of Nashville that I really, really just appreciate and love as well, you know? Cool. So I- I'm going to go back just a little bit because I'm going to ask you, you said your dad was an eighties music guy. I, I kind of <laughs> grew up at that time too. So uh, what, what did he play in the house all the time? <laughs> piano and drums. Yeah. He was a drummer. Um, but like boogie woogie piano player as well slash mm-hmm. his original one was drums so that's he was, when he was in the 80s yeah exactly all through the 80s was in a big australian rock band um called the radiators and then he kind of has done heaps of things since then like yeah so we grew up on a lot of like rolling stones bon jovi like literally everything from blues, the 80s, blues 80s. Brothers. but then also yeah blues funk like so much music because we're just always around musicians and you know yeah. jam nights and so i'm really yeah we're just exposed to so many different types of music um so i mean the, the cool thing is where did now tell me the, the song oops i love you where did that come from where did that <laughs> how did that genesis begin well, it started from like a funky kind of origin like <clears throat> a bit of like a groove based like drums and bass yeah it was actually me and our youngest brother dylan who's 15 years old we were just jamming just for fun and i he he just started playing a drum groove and i just started playing bass to it and stumbled across the bass line that you hear in the song and then he kind of pushed me to say like oh no that's like cool you should actually write that (laughs) otherwise i probably would have just walked looked past it and And then in yeah we're all in Lockie's cabin which is like right there (laughs) um (laughs) And we started writing it all together and we held off on it though because we were like this could be something really fun and creative but we wanted to get another like kind of input on it like another um, songwriter's influence influence, yeah and so we took it to Nashville and wrote it with our producer Chad Carson yeah well I can got to tell you if there was ever a hit or something that sounded like a hit right away that's the song Mm -hmm. Um, that helped me, you know. I'm I'm a pretty uh, crusty curmudgeon of a you know, uh, you know, music guy, and that just you know melted me. And I just said, this Aww. is great. I, I oh, love this song, so and and, and, it, and it got me hooked. I said, oh, I got to talk to these guys because it's Aww. amazing. Um, oh, so you. you're welcome. Where are you? Where is Meet the Buckleys going to be promoted? Are you going to be playing live? Yeah, we're. Heading back over to the States. Uh, so that's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, Going to be doing, yeah, a few shows all around. And then, uh, yeah, we have a bunch of tour dates here in Australia as well. And hopefully everywhere else. We just can't wait to play <laughs> everywhere and anyway, really. <laughs> all right. Well, when, um, when you get to New York, let me know. I want yeah, to Yeah, absolutely. Oh, damn right. Yeah. yeah, we actually do have, yeah, we'll be in New we'll York. We'll be there. We will. All right, cool. Well, I want to thank you, Buckley's, for the short time that we had. And I appreciate all that you're doing. Keep writing music. 
Keep doing the good work that you're doing. Um, we'll be listening. Power Papaholics will be listening. And th- like I said, I don't usually do the country thing, but you guys, like I said, you, Oops, I Love You just melted me. And I said, this is a um, great song. And uh, and I want you to keep writing stuff like that and, and keep moving forward. Thank right, you we'll, so much. We'll send you the next face melter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks for Thanks taking so the time to chat. We'll see you soon. Good, take Bye. care.